Hi guys! I'm back with another Too Many Cards video series with Emily Leapart and me. Today we're featuring products from Trinity Stamps and they are amazing! We worked with the Let the Good Times Roll stamp and dies, Slimline Scallop Card Panels and Banner dies, Scenic Borders die set, the Layered Mountain I'm sorry, Layered Lakeside Mountain Stencil Stamp Set, and a bunch of other good stuff. Let me get into it. Oh, I also wanted to share this amazing embellishment tray by my friend Amanda Wilcox. Uh, you may know her as Twiddler's Nook. She has an Etsy shop and she sells these adorable em embellishment trays. They come in all different shapes and colors. There's a skull, there's clouds, there's a star and circle. I love them. Highly recommend because they have a little spout you can just pour right back into the bag or container. It's perfect. We were also sent this awesome Blending Buddy brush, which is so soft. Oh, I touched it all the time. <laughs> and these three embellishments, and can I say wow, these are amazing, and they come in these incredible plastic containers. It is so cool. I love not having them floating around in a bag. Great idea. I started by stamping out my images with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I stamped it onto Strathmore Mixed Media Vellum Surface Paper, which is my favorite paper to use for zigs. It's also the only paper I use <laughs> for zigs, um, which is what I'll be using to color these. Um, all of the images were stamped. I used a bunch of the little mushrooms because I'm going to create a scene with that little jackalope I think it is <laughs> and then a scene with the roller skating unicorn obviously how could I not use the <laughs> unicorn and this is not going to surprise anyone but I am going to color the unicorn in rainbow colors <laughs> I should have warned you to hold on to your seat because this is shocking information um, I'm using a really light purple for the body of the unicorn and uh as you can see, I spritz water on my craft mat. Then I draw just a little line of color in the areas that I want shaded on the unicorn. Then I take my water brush, which is empty, but I dampen the bristles in the water that I have spritzed on the side and then use that little bit of water to drag out the color to the rest of the image. And then I let that sit for a little bit and then go back in and repeat the same process to add shading and um, color. I like to add the different layers with the zigs. Yeah, so anyway, here's where the rainbow part comes in with the hair or mane, I guess. <laughs> if you want to be technical, technical term for unicorn. Um, uh, I did, you know, darkest colors on the edges, brought the color together with the wet water brush in the middle and created, you know, a little bit of shading <laughs> or a highlight. There we go. A little bit of highlight in the middle of the, of the little sections of hair. Then I, of course, I am going to add pink cheeks. <laughs> I thought maybe I won't because she has that cute little muzzle. Um, but no, I do. I do go back and add pink cheeks. Uh, Oh, there I am just adding the shading I talked about earlier with the purple, just same areas, just uh, <coughs> same areas, um, but it layers the color on top because the first layer is already dry. So it adds a little bit of the shading and then a little bit of a light gray on the hoofs and hooves, <laughs> hoofs, hoofies and um, us, you know, middle parts and muzzle. Um, I thought it would be adorable if the unicorn had cotton candy, so that had to happen. And then time to color the skates. And as I was coloring the skates, I thought, do I want them pointing in two different directions? Then the unicorn would look like they were like flailing and like falling down. So then I stamped uh, the same skate on a scrap piece of the same, you know, Strathmore paper. And I figured, let me just color them all and I can decide when I die cut them out because I'm a very visual person. I have to see it in my mind's eye. <laughs> I can't imagine it. I have to see it. So I will end up coloring that other skate and then deciding which, which one I want to use. And um, 
yeah, so here we are to the mushrooms. I think that they're adorable. I love coloring mushrooms. I color these all in warm colors, like pinks and reds and oranges and yellows, because I knew the rest of my scene was going to be like greens and blues. And guess what that makes? A subtle rainbow. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, although, is it a jackalope now that I'm thinking of it? I have to check. Let me check. Guys, it is. Phew! I'm not crazy. <laughs> this guy was so cute and so little, so, so easy to color. I just used some browns. I knew I was going to go back in and add glitter to him and the mushrooms, so I didn't, like, color those tiny little dots in the mushrooms, and I didn't worry about shading the antlers, um, and... Uh, I just, you know, gave him the pink cheeks and that was that. Oh, and a little bit of butterfly actions for both cards, which I will also add glitter to at the end. But I get ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Guys, I die cut out all the images. You can see them in that awesome little um, contain embellishment tray. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this swooshy land border die thing to create many many of them because I'm going to make a long slimline card that is a whole rainbow. <laughs> so I die cut it all. Look at all these things I die cut. I didn't really know at this point what I needed, what, what I needed it cut from. So I just die cut all the things. And here I'm testing it. I'm like, yeah, cloud, rainbow borders. It goes over the whole big slimline scallop border. So this is what I'm going to do. And I you know, t like I said, I have to see it. I have to touch it and see it <laughs> before I can and know that it's going to work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these to create the rainbow and I am going to use a bunch of distress inks, guys. And I am like super fast forwarding this like Superman speed because it's a lot of ink blending. <laughs> a lot of ink blending. So I used pinks and reds on the first one and I didn't you know, made sure to keep it darker towards the edges. And that I repeated that same process for all of the rainbow swooshes, which also I believe is a technical term. Uh, the next one is going to be oranges. So uh, lighter orange in the middle, darker orange on the edges. This is not rocket science and it's not perfect because these are little and there's not going to be... Um, even if there was a hard, a harsh blending line between the colors, between once I, you know, splatter the water and the ink, which you know is going to happen, guys, you just know it. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see any imperfections, which is one of the reasons I love distressing so much and, um, you know, ink blending and stuff. And okay, so here we are to the blues and the teals. And I think the last one is purple. Yes, I do use purple. Guys, does any of you, do any of you have a color you cannot work with? For me, it's purple. But I'm getting better. I have been using it more and trying to use it more. But I, I, I can't, guys. Purple, it's, it's too hard. So I only use it on the edges here. <laughs> it's just, it, it totally stifles my creativity. <laughs> does, does anyone else have a color like that? Hmm. Okay, so I am attaching these on a uh, piece of white cardstock. I'm going to attach the cloud as well and then use the slimline border as, you know, to die cut the whole thing out from it. And I'm like, yes, this works. It's perfect. I'll add the clouds on the bottom. But first, the splatters. Always splatters. Look how much better that looks. Oh, I love it so much. So I'm setting that aside to dry and now I'm gonna work on my second card. And this is when I get to use the new blending tool, which I will be buying more of because these are awesome. They spread the color like butter, so smooth and soft. You, I mean, I, I feel like it would be impossible to get a harsh line <laughs> between these. I really, really like this, this blending tool. And so I used it for both the Cracked Pistachio and Mermaid Lagoon because they're similar colors and I usually use them together. So I thought I would combine it. And I'm using the layered Lakeside Mountain stencil, some greens for the trees. Like I said, I did the lake and Cracked Pistachio and Mermaid Lagoon. And it looks really good, right? But then I thought, no, let's make it better. <laughs> so I'm using the same colors to ink blend the whole lake. 
and then to create for the sky, I'm just using a little bit of yellows, squeeze lemonade at the bottom, mustard seed at the top, and I'm gonna be cutting this panel down anyway. So I, I didn't go all the way to the edges. I know we're jumping around. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but here we are back to the first card. And you can see I die cut it, it's dry. I really like how it came out. I'm gonna use it um, and start to set up my scene which is my favorite part. <laughs> um, I knew I was gonna have him hold the unicorn or hold the cotton candy and I'm just, look, here I am checking out the skates. Ooh, is it gonna be all wobbly or is it gonna go have the skates go in the right direction? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think I choose? Oh boy, they go in the same direction, guys. That's what I choose. I popped up the skates and I popped up the cotton candy and then I thought one more thing let's add some clouds with white embossing paste this is still the lakeside layered mountain stencil die set there are so I mean stencil set there are so many stencils and different ways you can use those pieces it's endless uh, so that again setting it aside to dry <laughs> and we're back with the other card I had see I had cut down the panel um, it's small now, small little rectangle, and now I'm setting the scene with all those mushrooms and rain, um, rainbow and butterfly and, of course, the jackalope. And that, I'm going to attach him to my card base and then, nope, still dry. <laughs> I mean, still wet. <laughs> I thought maybe it was dry, but it's still wet. And then I thought I would, instead of doing, like, a sentiment somewhere else, I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment right in that lake in white. And I really like how that turns out. So now I'm going to attach that little panel to a piece of white cardstock, and then I'm going to attach that to my card base once I fold it and create it. And I believe then is when I do all the adding of all the glittering. Yes, glitter to the antlers, glitter in the mushroom circles, on the butterfly, and even in the word believe, because this is a magical card. It needed the glitter, and I really like how it came out. <laughs> Oh, can you see my super fancy tool? Yep. Love it. Had to get rid of a little bit of glitter on the letters, and that's the perfect tool to do it. My skewer. <laughs> Never leave home without it. Uh, okay, so for my first card, we're back, guys. I heat embossed the sentiment in white onto black cardstock and then use the coordinating dies to cut it out because how cool is that? I love that idea. That was fun. Popped them up on foam tape and on the cloud and then um, put a little acrylic block on top to hold them in place. And now I'm attaching the butterflies which also have foam tape and my unicorn. Um, yeah, everything setting it aside to dry. Now I'm going to use the clear flat backed rhinestones to add a little bit of shimmer. So easy. They're all different sizes. I love that. I love when the embellishments are different sizes. And that's what finishes the card off. I really like how it came out. Oh, little bit of glitter on the skates, butterflies, and the horn because unicorn. <laughs> And then I'm also using some of the embellishments, the Jelly Tic Tac heart shapes, which also come in different sizes, which is the best. I love when embellishments come in more than one size. I'm attaching them because I love it. And that, I believe, finishes both my cards. Look at me being fancy with my skewer. Let's see. Are they done? Guys, they're done. I hope that you had fun. I hope you liked it and were inspired. Please be sure to comment on my video and Emily's video for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to Trinity Stamps. I cannot wait to see what you think. Bye.